Hello guys, welcome to my channel Lectures with Akil. I welcome you all to the new series Data Structures and Algorithms. This is the most wanted subject for product based companies like Flipkart and the Amazon. This is just an introduction video. I shall say about the basic definition of data structures and algorithms and also prerequisites and course details. With that being said, we'll, go, we'll be going to the next slide. Our way is nothing but a framework that we follow while learning the data structures and algorithms. We follow while learning this, okay? Which we see in the next video. I mean next slide. Coming to the data structure, data structure is nothing but the way to structure the data in the memory and algorithm is the process to do. Okay? As I said in the previous slide, the frame of data structures is core patterns, core data structure, and compound algorithms. First is core data structure, next is core patterns, and next is compound algorithms. While you are thinking to start data structures, we need to start with the core data structure. So what is it? It includes like learning the basics of data structures and also working. Like arrays, race, linked list, heap, and so on. Once you are familiar with the core data structures, you can go to the core patterns. Coming to the core patterns, here is the where the real game starts. Once you know the core patterns, your off work is completed. So what is the core patterns? Core patterns are actually the key algorithms for a specific data structure. You can say the example as all the functions of linked list like swapping, inserting, reversing and deleting and so on. Once you are familiar with the core patterns, we can go with the compound algorithms. Compound algorithms, okay? Here is where the most of the product based companies ask questions in the interview. So what are the compound algorithms? Compound algorithm is nothing but the involvement of the more than one data structure in a single problem. Just try to solve some questions in the good competitive sites like HackerRank, HackerIt, CodeChef, PrepBytes. So you motivate yourself, so it boosts up your self-confidence. This is the most important for the product-based companies interview. So, course details. Coming to the course details, who has to take the core data structures and algorithm course? Data structures and algorithm course is for anyone who wishes to understand the core core data structures and algorithms. It is important for the students who are preparing for product based companies. When you are placed, when you are placed in product based companies as a developer or any other uh, category, you will be solving real life world problems which are based on complex algorithms. At least a fundamental level of the data structures is needed. So I say data structures and uh, algorithms is the one of the key role in the interviews. The way we are going in this course is, uh, uh, this course includes the uh, understanding of, understanding and the working of the algorithms and data structures. We will visualize the data structures in the form of diagrams and graphs. Like uh, we'll be seeing some real life examples too. Like graphs is nothing but uh, like this, okay. The practical, the practical implementation part we implement the data structure in the form of program using C++. I use the DCPP software. If you don't have the DCPP, I'll be giving the link in the description. Please download it. In the further uh, videos, we'll be talking about the implementation of uh, various data structures. So coming to what is a data structure? I searched it in Google. Google says like, in computer science, a data structure is a data organization management and storage format that enables efficient access and modification. More precisely, a data structure is a collection of data values, the relationships among them and the fash and the functions or operations that can be applied to the data. Precisely I can say that in simple words, data structure is nothing but a way in which a data is stored in a computer. So what is the need of data structure? Data structure is one of the fundamental subject 
in the computer science so we need in depth understanding of the topic is very important now we have some theoretical understanding of data structures like the way we store the data so why do we need it these are some of the important points please note it down it will be useful for you data structure allows efficient data search and retrieval it can be retrieved and used productively it allows efficient data search and retrieval now we now we try to relate uh, with an example let's take our first example that is map suppose we need to go from a to d a to d suppose we need to go from a to d we have various possible ways like going from a to c a to c or c to d or we have like a, a to c c to b b to d and also we have a to b a to b and b to d i'll be taking one of the real life example let's take let's take my, myself akil needs to go to the nikhil's home he is my friend okay there are two ways to go to nikhil's home one is by going through bus stop and then going to going by a temple okay and another way is a railway okay i can go to the railway station road and then go to nikhil's home suppose there is a traffic in between bus and uh, bus stop and the temple i'll be searching uh, i'll be searching uh, in the google maps like uh, is there any other possibility because uh, in between bus and bus stop and the uh, temple there is a traffic so google suggests me to go to railway railway station road and then go to nikhil's home it made my life easy because uh, it reduces my time it it reduces my stress and many more and there are my, uh, another example like uh, dictionary we know that we know that there are thousands of words in the dictionary every day there are many words that that are adding also if i need any word like a data i directly jump into the d, uh, d d letter word we search from there because we know in the uh, dictionary it is arranged in a to z order it is ar arranged in a to z order so it can be easily retrieved just imagine if it is not arranged in an order i think it takes uh, days to know a meaning of a word there are thousands of word we have to search uh, every every single word from the single for the from the first page to last page so another example is uh, like uh, you need to store the friendship information in the social network networking site who is a friend of who if i myself akil is a friend of nikhil in the facebook if i know if i know if i want uh, mutual friends between us i can just go to the facebook and uh, can see the mutual friends in between us there also an algorithm on the data structure is used here you can see a pic uh, like uh, this is called tower of hawaii we'll see this example also in the further uh, videos now we, now we can see how many types a data structure is divided a data structure is divided into linear data structure and non linear data structure linear data structure is nothing but an element is connected to another element non linear data structure is nothing but an element is connected to n number of elements coming to the non linear data structure arrays stack queue and linked lists coming to non linear data structure trees and graphs comes in, in the picture coming to the data structures through c++ for doing some data structure a set of algorithms were proposed like arrays like arrays stack queue trees lists and graphs all these algorithms are called abstract data type abstract data type is nothing but set of rules the topics that are covered by me are introduction linear data structure non linear data structure sorting and searching algorithms and hashing in the introduction part i have told 
in this video what is a data structure and what is an algorithm in the next video i'll be covering uh, arrays concept because many have learnt in c++ or java so i'll take a brief into uh, brief refreshment of the arrays in the next video i think in the coming two videos because i'll be telling array, one dimensional array in one video and a set two dimensional array in another video coming to coming to linear data structure in linear data structure we'll see about the stack queue linked list of this three uh, i'll be telling the definition operations and how to implement in the c++ coming to non linear data structure in non linear data structure we can see like uh, trees binary tree mv tree avl tree b tree b plus tree and also graphs we see their uh, definition types operation types of trees and many more uh, and also like implementing in the c++ too coming to the sorting and searching algorithms in sorting and searching algorithms we see like uh, insertion sort radix sort merge sort bubble sort and many more we see linear search in searching algorithms we see linear search and binary search in binary search uh, in, uh, i think binary search will be very useful for you i think you have learnt in binary search in the c++ if not i'll be telling you it uh, again okay just comment uh, comment down whether you have learnt linear search and binary search okay so that i'll be making the video in the for in few days coming to hashing we see different hashing techniques and we see different uh, different address calculation techniques too and uh, coming to collision resolution there will be some collisions in the hashing we see the uh, resolution to linear probe quadratic probe and many more and there will be rehashing too i think we we have come to the end of the video if you guys like this video do like it and share with your friends and do support my channel lectures with akil if you want notifications when i upload video do press the bell icon to get notifications thank you Jai Hind